This build destroys Endgame? Yes. With Season 21, we have gotten a buffs to a lot of old exotics. Today, we will be highlighting Second Chance with this build designed for Endgame. Now, while this build did not get an insane buff or anything like that, it, when combined with the artifact mods, make a build that I use to solo GMs even stronger than it already was. So I had to share it with you guys. This build is actually very simple and with it you will have infinite overshield and weaken debuff on the enemies, making you absolutely unstoppable in endgame PvE. What's good guys, it's Zen, and if you know me, you know I'm not gonna waste your time on my videos, Let's hop right into the build! First, let's start with Second Chance. Now this exotic grants your shield throw melee two charges and makes them weaken enemies. Now weaken is a 15% damage bonus to all your weapons on the given target that is weakened. On top of that, it stuns barrier champions and when stunning a barrier with the exotic, your melee charge is completely refunded. With this exotic alone, you can spam infinite weaken on barrier champions, which is pretty nice. Now, our exotic weapon of choice is going to be Wish Ender, simply because its damage is absolutely insane for a primary weapon. For reference, Arbalus does 57,000, while Wish Ender does 62,000. Wish Ender also has intrinsic anti-barrier. Now, many people do not have Wish Ender, so Lemon Arc is a pretty good option, but definitely go grab Wish Ender as soon as possible. Now, let's hop into our subclass to discuss how we make Wish Ender's damage even more powerful by spamming infinite weaken. First, First we have Bastion, which grants us overshield when placing our barricade down. This ties into our next aspect, Offensive Bulwark, which gives us a huge boost to our grenade recharge rate while we have overshield. Next we'll grab Echo of Undermining, which causes our void grenades to weaken targets. These three paired together alone gives you nearly infinite weaken, but by combining it with Second Chance, we truly always have a weaken effect up specifically for dealing with higher HP targets like champions. This alone will give you what you need to solo GMs. But there's more that makes you powerful, so let's discuss. Echo of Expulsion causes an explosion when defeating targets with our Void abilities, giving us some nice ad clear with our grenade. Echo of Remnants causes our Vortex grenade to remain on the field longer, giving us more overall damage. Finally, Echo of Persistence increases our overshield duration, giving us a longer increased grenade recharge duration. For your super, you'll definitely want Bubble for higher end activities, and Sentinel Shield is nice for easier missions. Now let's hop into our artifact to become even more powerful. This season's artifact brought three new mods that make the build even stronger than it already is. First we have Supernova, which causes a weakened explosion when hitting a target with Void Damage after picking up a Void Breach. Void Breaches also give you Overshield with this artifact perk, Protective Breach. Finally, we create Void Breaches by defeating Void debuffed targets. They'll be debuffed by our weakened effects from our melee and grenade. With these three perks in mind, when picking up a Void Breach, all we have to do is tag an enemy with our void weapon and they'll get the weakened debuff. Assuming we can continue to pick up void breaches, we can proc infinite weaken on enemies. However, we don't have any form of invisibility to grab the breaches easily, so these artifact perks are more of an add-on if you're using this build in endgame activities. And that's going to be the build guys. Now while this build is nothing flashy, it will absolutely shred through higher difficulty activities with ease. I really wanted to share this with you guys due to how well it performed in my solo GM runs. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe for Daily Destiny 2 videos. Either way, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.